Hello, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. I'm Brother Bill. This is evening prayer for Friday, October the 8th. It's the 19th week after Pentecost, and week 7 in the Psalm Cycle. And please join me. Oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, hear my prayer, O God Most High. Give ear to my cry. Alleluia. Psalm 143, please recite it with me. Alleluia, hear my prayer, O God Most High. Give ear to my cry. In your faithfulness answer me and in your righteousness heed me. Do not judge me, for in your sight no living person is justified. The enemy has persecuted me. They have cast me down to the ground. They have made me dwell in a dark cave like them that have long been dead. My spirit is overwhelmed within me. My heart is desolate. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all your works. I muse on the work of your hands. I stretch forth my hands to you, my soul thirsts after you, like a dry land. Answer me quickly, O Most High, my spirit fails. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like them that go down into the pit. Let me hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I trust. Show me the way I should walk, for I lift my soul to you. Deliver me, O my God, from my enemies. I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Give me life, O God, for your name's sake. For the sake of your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. And in your mercy, cut off my enemies. Destroy them that afflict me, for I am your servant. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear my prayer, O God Most High. Give ear to my cry. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 9 beginning at verse 27. Jesus heals two blind men and one who was made mute. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, crying loudly, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? And they said, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done to you. And their eyes were open. Then Jesus sternly ordered them, See that no one knows of this. But they went away and they spread the news about him throughout that district. After they had gone away, a demoniac who was mute was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, the one who had been mute spoke. And the crowds were amazed and said, Never has anything like this been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, By the ruler of the demons, he casts out demons. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For those who are sick, and for the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering from the COVID-19 pandemic, and for those suffering from dementia. For those struggling with addiction, strengthen their resolve and restore to them the assurance of your unfailing mercy for prisoners and captives, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. For all who serve in harm's way and for the victims of terrorism and violence. For all who've died, especially Brother Donald Columba, Carol, Howard, Dwight, George, Brother Robert Patrick, Father Tom, Sister Miriam Suzanne, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For the mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd,
Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and for all the mercy of God associates. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. In your presence, dear God, we find peace, for you are the very source of life. Show us the paths we should walk and teach us to do your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.